Hi there. Welcome to our demonstration of the Autonomous Platform for the fourth and final year of the Autograph Challenge. I hope you enjoy it. Before we begin, I'd like to give you a brief overview of the sensor suite and compute platform that enables our vehicle, Multi, to complete the Autonomous Challenges. For obstacle and road line detection, we use three Blackfly-esque cameras mounted on the right, center, and left of our roof rack. The left and right cameras use a standard lens that provides an 83 degree field of view and are equipped in with Sony IMX249 sensors. The center camera uses a fisheye lens to achieve 136 degrees field of view and is equipped in with a Sony IMX265 sensor. For 3D obstacle detection, we use a Velodyne BLP32C LiDAR. This LiDAR gives us a 360 degree view around the vehicle with a 40 degree vertical view. This extends for up to 200 meters around the vehicle. To localize the vehicle, we use a Novatel span device that combines GNSS and IMU data to provide centimeter level accuracy even when line of sight to satellites is lost for small periods of time. The data from the sensors is routed to the trunk of our vehicle via Ethernet cables. In the trunk, we have our compute platform a crystal rugged server equipped with two Intel Xeon 44-core processors. From there, the software modules take over, beginning with the perception algorithms that extract meaningful information from the raw sensor data, to the environment modeling and behavioral planning algorithms that decide on the high-level route and behavior of the vehicle, down to the model predictive controller that sends the steering and torque commands to the CAN bus of the Chevrolet Bolt. The platform that we present today is the culmination of Autonomous's work over the four years of the Autograph Challenge. It would not have been possible without all of the members that contributed to the team throughout the four years. Thank you all and congratulations. The dynamic demonstration was carried out at the Waterloo Emergency Services Training and Research Center, which is what we see here. The autonomous vehicle starts at the center of the track, marked by the S, and the navigation goal is set at the exit of the track, marked by the F. On the face of it, this looks like a simple route, but let's add some features to make it a bit more complicated. Immediately after beginning its drive, the vehicle encounters a stop sign at the T intersection that it must obey. After doing so and making the left turn, the vehicle then encounters a right turn only sign, which forces the planning software to find a new route to the finish line. Next up is the long straightaway down to the skid pad area. Upon arriving at the area, the vehicle would like to follow a shortcut added to the map. However, a construction barrier has been added that the vehicle must detect and find a new route around. While driving along the skid pad area, the vehicle encounters two other features. The first being a static obstacle that the vehicle must change lanes to avoid, and the second being a pedestrian which crosses the road. After the pedestrian finishes crossing, the vehicle takes the long curve back up to the four-way intersection. This time around, the traffic light is active and is in the red state when the vehicle arrives. After waiting for the light to turn green, the vehicle takes its final left turn and arrives at the finish line. Now let's see it for real. Here we see two views of the vehicle at the starting position. The bottom left video is from a GoPro mounted on the dash of the vehicle and the main video is shot by a drone. The vehicle begins by centering itself in the lane and proceeding to the stop sign, where it stops for the designated 5 seconds.
Making the left turn, the vehicle then proceeds up the road to the second feature, the intersection with the right turn only sign. Here we introduce a new view, the software visualization, which better displays what happens when the vehicle observes the right turn only sign. Slowing it down a bit, we see that the route, the pink line, initially proceeds straight through the intersection. However, when the right turn only sign is observed, the vehicle replans a route that goes to the right. After making the right turn, we proceed down the straightaway to the skid pad area. Let's speed it up a bit. However, note that, like every other clip in this video, this drive is fully autonomous. Upon arriving at the skid pad area, note that our route, in pink, takes the shortcut off to the right. However, our route immediately adapts once the traffic barriers are detected on the shortcut. We now approach the two features along the skid pad, first being the static obstacles to avoid. We make our way around the obstruction by performing a double lane change. Our second task on the skid pad is to detect and stop for the pedestrian as it crosses the road. The vehicle then proceeds back to the four-way intersection, which we skip for brevity. Back at the top of the course, we proceed to the four-way intersection, which is this time in the red state. After waiting for the light to turn green, we make our final left turn and proceed to the finish line. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you around campus soon.